Hi, my name is Riley Eckersley. I'm the chef at Quentrell in Portland, Oregon. Quentrell's food is really kind of a representation of my life and where I've been, and so the food is reflective on that. There's French-influenced food to English, and there could be Peruvian food. So I like to just take inspiration from my life and continuously try and create dishes that I think are beautiful and technically sound. To me, it's what I've been eating my entire life, growing up in England and having a house in the south of France, and Europeans just make the best butter, and the French seem to have taken that to a next level. It's super fatty and it has lovely grassy nodes, and it's just a pleasure to cook with, whether I'm poaching or searing or finishing a dish or adding a, a knob of it at the end to an all nude sauce, it kind of foots the bill in all the ways. I started by smoking a little bit of butter and then kind of setting that aside to cook with. I sear pork belly in the smoked butter. When the pork belly is almost done, I throw the carrots and the peas in the smoked butter as well. Everything is kind of representative of where it comes from. So in France, you know, you have all these different regions and all these different mountainside pastures. And that's obviously part of the reason their butter is great because they're using like these old practices of letting cows range from different parts so they can feed on fresh grass tips. If you want to have really good butter, you have to start off by having really great milk, and really great milk starts off with their diet. When I'm in France, I wake up in the morning and I go get fresh croissant, and I come home and I put even more butter on it, and then I smother it with Nutella. That's the type of thing you can pass on to generations. And so now I don't feel that bad that I'm not the only person at the table slathering butter on my croissant anymore because now my sons do it as well. And then I have this celeriac soup piece that I put on top, and then kind of to make it all gratuitous, I have Perigord truffle that I just cover the entire dish with. So my favorite compound butter to make is ramp butter. It's such a short season, so I really have to make a lot of it at one point in time, but it also just adds the most amazing flavor to anything, whether you're sticking it on a steak or throwing it into a risotto or finishing a sauce, it's so versatile.